roll in. We were having a little bit of technical difficulties getting this up, but we're here. We're here now, um, and we're uh, we're getting the game started. Uh, Grandview took an early lead. They currently have 26% on the point, but Artview just capped over, um, and they are currently just setting up, just getting ready for this whole thing to go down. So hopefully we get to see some a little bit of different play. This is actually the first time, um, actually the second time that they played against each other in this Collegiate Varsity series. Um, so originally, um, Grandview did win the first matchup against the, uh, against Artu, um, but we have been refined. We're the same exact team, uh, the same exact players in it. So we're just about ready to go. Here we go, hopping right in there. Grandview just getting ready, just trying to trying to cap the point back. It's on the Winston here. Currently, Artu is just running a very standard meta comp. Grandview is going for a full dive here. They do drop the beat here, trying to get some more HP going for them. He's already looking at somebody. Corn dropping pretty low on his own. It's gonna get get out just in time. Grand View still holding control of the point, trying to stagger Pac Man as hard as they can. T Cat gonna continue stalling out on this May here. And it looks like they do get a final regroup. They're trying to get down the last bit here. A good melee by T Cat trying to close off the Ana now. A good Good tank up by uh, Pac-Man to take that hit for T-Cat. So they clean it up and recap. 71% going the way of Grandview right now, but Art U slowly starting to climb back up again. K-Rose does have his ultimate available. The Blizzard is also going to be available for the Academy of Art. Meanwhile, Grandview going to be initiating with uh, the Meteor Strike in order to actually just get up to the high ground here. Hidden does have his ult as well. They do put Pac-Man into a dangerous spot. A good high noon done by Kairos to pick off Corn. That's going to be the Doomfist out of the fight. They do lose Pac-Man in the fight, though. So it's down a tank for down for a DPS here. So are you playing very safe in the back line? Just playing it. He's trying. He's looking at the Ana right now. Kairos <laughs> not uh, not landing those shots and just get taken down pretty quickly by Hidden there. A full dive comp is actually pretty difficult for Art U to really fight against. They are going to drop the Blizzard here. Try to zone him out a bit. Oh, great headshot by T-Cat. Finishes off Valley there. Looking at Korn as well, and he's going to bring him down. Not enough time for them to get there. Art U sitting pretty fancy here. 90% already on the point, and all they have to do is fend it off of the last piece. Hidden. Dropping pretty low. He's not going to be able to get there in time. Price with the boob is going to finish it off. Art U is going to be taking the lead here on Oasis. Very good start by Art U. They definitely wanted to get the ball rolling, get their momentum. And they're feeling it. Oh, V is going to give us a quick uh, reset. There we go. I'm on camera now. Hey, guys, everybody. I'm Kevin Kanashi Tagupa. I'm going to be your host, commentator, and analyst for today. Um, only got to catch that last bit of that match there, sadly. Um, but we at least got to see some good competition. We get to see who's up. Um, it looked like Grandview was really favoring a dive composition. They're running that Winston with the Doomfist, trying to just get into the back line and disrupt. Meanwhile, Art U is just really sitting pretty with a very standard composition. Um, we people have been calling this either uh, the the polar bear comp the uh, you know the it's May Diva and Reinhardt for the most part. Oh, Corn erases Kairos immediately, but a quick res up by Techie's gonna bring him back. T Cat actually gonna punish Corn for that too. So the May actually coming in handy for Art U here. So they're gonna be able, able to hold down Hidden. That's already two, and they're just gonna be able to roll over this point here. They do get the sleep there. Price is gonna finish it off, and it looks like it's gonna be a quick start and cap for. Art you. If anything, it's just T Cat really punishing Corn. Like if Corn does get out in the way and tries to tries to get a little bit off, and he's gonna get punished by Price. That's another pick off. Corn overextending this time, and Art you really taking advantage of it. They're current. They're gonna have to stall a little bit more time. If anything, Art you is just gonna get precious time. Well, they have to wait for that to reset. So Korn this time is going to switch over to the McCree now. He wants to go one-on-one -on -one against Kairos here. That's a good wall there. T-Cat holding him off. Kairos gets the high noon onto the back line there. The Lucio is going to be taken out, so no extra support 
No off support for them. TCAT looking pretty low. Does have the freeze in order to keep himself alive. He does have Blizzard available. If he really does need assault at this point by himself, he has the option to. Bali going to get popped out of his mech. Going to be pushed into the back. Horn does win the 1v1 against Kairos, though, but a quick res by Techie going to bring him back. So Pac-Man looking for the damage on the back line. Watch out Insomniac. Well, it looks like the call for RU is to just back off, you know, reset here. They did have to expend Valkyrie for that fight. Grandview going to be looking at about six ultimates coming into this next fight, so we'll see what they decide to run here. What they decide to expend, and uh, if it's going to be worth it in the end. Insomniac on this chaser. The self-destruct coming over the top, trying to get some zoning. Not going to get quite anybody here. High Noon coming out by Korn. He's looking for something. He's not going to get anything out of it. He's trying to look for even more. Nice flashbang onto Techie. Trying to get something out of there. Kairos returning the fire back with his own Deadeye. Catching out the two DPS this time. TCAT reads the sleep dart. Does save himself there. Does cancel out the beat drop as well. Aren't you just currently reading Grandview? A lot of plays here and a, just a celebratory blizzard there as the Academy of Art is going to be taking map number one, which is Oasis, away from Grand View. They wanted to get this party started and they're definitely rolling with momentum this time. So Art U definitely wants that to keep going. Um, and yeah, same thing, for, same thing for Grand View. They had a really good idea to run the, the dive composition. It's just the fact that TCAT and Kairos we're doing a great job um, trying to mitigate and make sure that they cannot play the way that they wanted to. Um, especially when it comes down to the May. If they picked the May comp earlier. They saw Korn onto the Doomfist. And they punished him for overextending multiple times. And uh, that's just a good call by RU. Just understanding, hey, you know what? Their DPS wants to get really aggressive. They want to get into our backline as quickly and as effectively as possible. Let's just shut them down as quickly as they can. It was a good adaptation by Grandview in order to switch over to the McCree. They decided, you know what, we could take the 1v1 maybe against Kairos. Um, we'll see if that's a good idea. Um, and then also with the McCree, you also have the zoning potential against the May. Um, so they did definitely have the right idea. They did try to make an adaptation, but it was a little too late in the game. Um, hopefully Grandview can make um, maybe either a switch over or pick the map into their favor. Um, it looks like, honestly, they would probably want like longer maps so they can dive. Um, and punish the fact that, you know, if RU does overextend forward, they're able to punish the backline, or vice versa. Um, they, won't want, they might just want something with multiple levels so that they could get up onto the high ground. Looks like the pick right now, actually, for Grandview will be Havana. So Havana, definitely a longer map. Um, something that, honestly, I personally like to run dive on as a tank player. Um, I see a lot of Hammonds, especially on the second point. It's not necessarily something that's, you know, meta or currently picked up, but it is something that is interesting to see. So currently, Art U is up one against Grandview. You just got to update that graphic real quick. But here comes the games. Here we go. So right now, Grandview currently rolling out with a very uh, basic composition here. Um, they are going to go with the triple B. This is what I'm going to be calling it from now on. It's going to be called Blizzard Bombs and Barriers. It's exactly what they're good at. Corn this time is actually going to be on the Hanzo. So it's kind of interesting. An interesting pickup here. Um, it will give him the Sonic Arrow capabilities to at least see what they have. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to scan scan the door immediately. Spots out that Harambe is going to be on uh, the Reinhardt. They are going to put Price onto the Ana this time. This is a very unorthodox pick from them. Oh, Kairos. He's actually going to start out on the Widow. He might actually give us a show today. Let's see what he's going for. Oh, he realizes that there is a barrier, but he's just trying to chip away at it. Maybe maybe catch the Reinhardt when he drops it just for half a second. But yeah, Kairos get, definitely getting to the high ground. They are not running dive this time, so the only person who could actually maybe bother him is is the D.Va. Kairos does drop pretty low, though. Getting punished out there. T-Cat this time on the Hanzo as well. Oh, he's looking under the cart this time. Maybe, maybe trying to pick somebody off. Maybe get a sneaky pick. Doesn't quite find anything. Sleep Dart, going to be eaten. She's currently a poke war right now. Nothing, nothing much going on. Kairos does actually find hidden, so there's no shield right there. It means that RU just wants to push through. Harambe going to take advantage of that along with TCAT. Insomniac's going to drop down pretty quickly, and RU is just going to stabilize. 
Kairos pops in for side. He's like, hey, I see you. I see you over there. Are you going to be able to survive this? Uh, we'll see. The Ana is just kind of getting staggered up here. Very good call by Art U to just slow that up a bit. So T-Cat currently just throwing Sonic Arrows out just to give Kairo some vision. Understand, hey, where are they? What are they doing? Oh, T-Cat winding it up. He does throw it straight through. Does get Insomniac on the back line. And that's going to be their Magon. They're already bullying <laughs> Hidden in the corner there. So no shield for them as well on this next push. Are you getting aggressive? They're doing a really good job. It's just keeping, their, uh, keeping the pace that they want to keep. Especially on attack. They, they have that potential to do that. Oh, Kairos going to pick off Dex as well. That's without the Lucio. It's going to be actually a pretty tough engage if they want to still go on this. Or they might actually even have to wait that out. You could see where they're planning Pac-Man. Just sitting underneath, just making sure like, hey, if you're going to if you're gonna be doing something, I, I want to take advantage of it. Oh, he he's going to get frozen up though. Pac-Man currently in danger. He gets slept, but he's still going to stay alive. He's still keeping his back here. The Dragon's coming out. Huge shatter out by Harambe there. Catching out two and just trying to clean up the rest of it. Hidden is going to actually get Pac-Man, but Pac-Man's going to return the favor with a bomb. Looking at Insomniac. Insomniac dropping pretty low. He might have to freeze himself here in order to stay alive, and that's not that's going to be the case. Just stalling out the card a little bit. And they're trying to get the focus call here, and they do get Insomniac down. Harambe and the rest of the team currently just playing at the tempo that they want to. Grandview does have a lot of ultimates to play with. Um, we'll see if they decide to use any to really stop the momentum of RU right now. The T-Cat's positioning, he's just going off to the side here. Trying to make him look, maybe turn some heads here. Infrasight popped by Kairos, he knows where everybody is right now. Let's see Let's see if he can take advantage. Same thing with uh, T-Cat. T-Cat's another person not to, not to look away from. He's just going to, he's keeping the pressure up. Oh, the bomb going into the back line. Doesn't quite catch anybody. They do a good job of rotating there. A nice sonic arrow onto the shield. He's just getting getting art use and vision here. Grand View does have a lot of ultimates. They can use anything that they want if they if they can find it. Okay, here comes the dragons coming out across the top. The shatter as well. Maybe there we go. Getting a couple of picks for Grand View. Finally getting a little bit of stability. They definitely needed it coming into this as well. They have spawn advantage, so they really should be trying to stagger up Pac-Man as hard as they can. Um, they, they're just gonna they're gonna let that happen. If anything, this is a good reset for Grandview. They had they had the right idea. Comboed a couple ults, you know, got exactly what they want. They didn't have to use the blizzard, so very good on them. Art you this time coming out to play though. Kairos is gonna be on the Ash this time, uh, swapping that out from the original Widowmaker pick. He's probably just going to try to get a little bit more damage over the top or force DM out of uh, Volley a lot quicker. Beat drop coming out for Ranview. Insomniac drops a Blizzard as well. Pac-Man a little bit late to the party to pick that up. They are going to try to Nano Harambe through this and he's not going to make it. Pac-Man pushing it up so that Techie could get the res in the back. He, she's actually going to get Harambe back up. Pac-Man dropping the bomb, forcing out the ice wall. So there's no ice wall available. And they're just going to continue with throw! Three-man shatter by Harambe! Looking for more, looking for blood, and he's out for it! And they're just put, rolling with this momentum right now. They're telling him, hey, you know, we're here. We're here to play. Maybe early in the morning for us, but we got, we got to do this. Nice scan arrow there. Dragon's coming out from the side. T-Cat almost gets brought down. But it looks like Pac-Man's already there. T-Cat's going to clean him up. And there goes the zoning ult. Oh, it's eaten by Volley. <laughs> T-Cat definitely angry about that. Uh, as you can see by the by the tilt there. Yeah, the bomb coming through. Nice clear out by Art U. Definitely recognizing that. And they're just pushing on through. Keeping the damage up. Kairos throws Bob into the back line. Just trying to make him turn heads. Get some, get some damage. Force him to look somewhere else. Oh, nice headshot onto the Lucio. He's going to finish that off as well. T-Cat cleaning up Volley. Now they're just looking at Corn. Corn is down. And it looks, looks like Art U is just going to be able to stall out for a little bit as long as they can just keep the bodies onto the point. Hidden switching over to the Hammond in order to keep the stall going. 
And Grandview, just doing what they need to do. Just trying to stall it out. Chatter again! Harambe gets frozen, does catch out four, and that's gonna be it. Look at the sweep coming out here. Korn switching over to the Tracer, trying to stall out for a little bit more time, but it's already over. Are you already there? Just a great use of momentum by Art U in order to keep the ball rolling. Initially, they just uh, they just had ultimate advantage. They got halted up there later in the third point, but that's just due to the spawn advantage and the ult advantage that Grandview had. Very good stall, honestly, by Grandview. It's just that Art U found the right way to play against them. Um, if anything, I think that um, Grandview just needs to play a little bit more conservative. The way how they are playing right now, um, it's just they they are pushing too far up, especially with Corn. Like Corn is off doing his own thing. Um, if they did that and use their ultimates a little bit more quickly um, and abused Art U in the way how they're you know kind of pacing the momentum, they could definitely take they could definitely take that from them. So once again, we're back on Havana. Um, Art U pushes it all the way to the third point, uh, which is pretty difficult, honestly, to do on Havana. If you, any of you guys have played that map, just very difficult. But they had a solid rolling, a solid momentum. They're going to have a little less than two minutes going into this. Um, so Grandview has to answer back. Art U this time on the on the defense. See what they decide to roll out with here. It's really interesting to see. By the way, spectator cam done by V Flight. Our our. Uh, Great spectator right there. And our audio issues have been fixed from what I've heard from the producer. So we are going to have game volume. Yay! But there we go. Are you playing it uh, very standard once again? This time they are both opting in for the Widow. Oh, quick, quick shot up there. Kairos does spot out where Korn is. So he's just keeping his, uh, keeping that angle on him. Korn trying to get a pick here. Oh, T-Cat's in a very dangerous spot. Korn has already got his eyes on him. But they're rotating around. Kairos picks off Sorin. So no main heals for them. They do have spawn advantage. So they're just going to have to play it a lot safer volley. Just trying to keep it safe. Pac-Man already on him. He's just saying, yeah, you know what? I don't, I don't even want to deal with your small form. I'm just going to leave you back here until we're ready to fight it. Oh, the, oh, this stagger is brutal. Look at them. They're just dancing around. It gives them the sleep. Being like, hey, if you want to reset, you have to do it by our <laughs> hour four. There you go. Bye, Volley. Oh, that's, un that's just unfortunate. Harambe definitely... Art U is definitely playing this correctly. They're, they're like, you know what? We we went after the D.Va. We're going to stagger her hard, force a little bit more time off the clock. And that's exactly what they wanted to do. They waited until they were all back and then went for the full stagger. Kairos does pop in for sight. He does know where they're at, and he picks off Korn. Picks off his opposite member there. And he's just looking at even more. He's looking at the... He's looking at Ana. She's running. Has to get out of there. T-Cat almost has his ultimate as well. If he needs to use it for zoning, he can. T-Cat keeping it up, trying to bring down Insomniac. Insomniac down. There goes the May. Korn does pick off Kairos this time, so they don't really have line advantage here, but Price and the rest of the team is still being a thorn in their side, and Grandview's just got to reset and figure out what they need to do. Korn pops Infrasight. He's just looking for something. Maybe to just give him a little bit more advantage. He, you can see how Korn is going off to the side here. He's looking for, he's looking for that angle, but Art you quickly spots that out. Oh, the Dragon Strike coming through the wall to zone him off, but the the uh, barrier is going to be coming down. The sound barrier by Dex. Harambe currently trapped between a car and a, and a wall here. Oh, but he does get the pick off on Dex on the back end. Gets a pin on Insomniac. This man is insane, but he gets picked down by Hidden, who is currently nano boosted. Pac-Man realizes, hey, you know what? There's a D.Va in our back line. It's okay. He's just trying to get a little bit more damage in and make sure, you know, if you can't stay with the team, you don't know where you're at. Oh, Harambe tries to get the pin. But currently right now, they're occupying the tanks in the back line. It's, it's a little bit of a, a problem here. So Pac-Man, just going to pop the mech and leave. That's exactly what they wanted to do. So Volley, just stuck in the back here. He's, he's all alone. He gets his mech back. 
Oh, he throws it into the back line. Harambe's already there. The rest of the team rotates. They already pick off Volley. That's another really bad stagger for Grandview. Harambe keeping the pressure up. The Shatter coming down. The barrier wasn't there in time. Oh, he's trying to respond back with his own Shatter. It's not going to be enough, though. The Blizzard's going to keep everybody down. The Sleep out by Techie, making sure that everybody's staying alive here. What a great play. Heads up play by Art Yu here. Volley down to one. TCAT going one on one against Korn right now. He does have the barrier. He's got to give him give him the scan. He's like, yeah. Okay. Oh. And he knows that he's on top of gas here. And they're just pushing on through. They're just keeping them off. Grandview's got a touch, and they are going to go full dive for it. Okay. Self destruct coming over the top. Does get Volley. They're going to leave Insomniac on to the point. That means the, uh, the Cryo Freeze is not going to be there. Insomniac just trying to pressure Harambe a little bit. But Insomniac is currently the only one on point. Dancing around. Use Cryo Freeze again. Trying to get the quick pick off. Oh, the sleep! But not an instant finish as well. So Harambe actually going to be able to swing that around. Earth Shatter coming down. Trying to zone him out, but doesn't quite catch anybody. And that's going to be it. Art U is going to be taking the lead 2-0 here. So yeah, just a very great play, honestly, um, by Art U. Um, just honestly, yeah, let's, let's take a quick look at the play of the game. Here we go. We have Harambe on the Reinhardt. I think this was like one of his three-man shatters like later in the game. No, this is the four-man right there. Stops the ball, stops everybody else, allows Kairos to get the pick off with the Dynamite and clean up the rest of the team there. So very good heads-up play. You could see how coordinated Art U has been. Definitely been working on their synergy and figuring out what the right picks are especially going up against tougher opponents like that. Um, once again, just a very good match. Art U presenting the, their best form that they can, running exactly what they wanted to do. Um, very standard to the meta, too. So, honestly, not a lot of surprises coming out from Art U um, in terms of meta or interesting picks. Meanwhile, Grand Viewer is definitely running something a little interesting. They'll go full dive sometimes. Um, sometimes they try to match them with the barriers and bombs. Um, it was just a little bit of a different tempo. So... Honestly, it, that was it. Yeah, that's going to be the win for Art U is best of three. So very quick match, very good games. Honestly, Art U definitely showcasing what they've got um, coming into this Collegiate Varsity Series. So yeah, honestly, great, great games to start off and kick off our year for the Varsity Collegiate Series. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned for later on. We are going to have our own tournament for the... Um, Overwatch 6v6 intramural. So feel free to join us for that. That's going to be starting up at 2.30. But until then, I'm Kevin Kaneshi Tagupa, and we'll see you guys then.